Just last month, Tessa's father suddenly passed away at the age of 45. But while the rest of the family was mourning his death, Tess called me, determined to convince them that her father was a child molester. You see, even though he served four years in prison for molesting Tess, he maintained his innocence until the day he died. And Tess's brother, Zach, who idolized her father, still refuses to believe that he could have committed such a terrible act. What happened to you as a child? As a kid, um, my father was physically abusive. Um, my mom started noticing it. She caught wind of it, and she took us and moved. How old she were you at the him. time? At the time, I think she believed, she left him around when I was seven. Seven. Um, when and when you say physical abusive, what, what do you mean? Um, he would choke me unconscious. He would drown me. Uh, he would choke you unconscious? Yeah. Well, why? To the point where I literally I would extract on myself. And Why would he do these things? He's a horrible man, Steve. And your mother witnessed this? I think she came home one time and seen it. And that's when she was like, yeah, no, you're not doing that to my kids. Okay, so your mom took you and, you, and your brother? Yeah, she woke us, up in, woke us up in the middle of the night. She told me, help me get your siblings around, we're leaving. And the dead of the night, we took off. And I didn't have to, I thought I was free. Um, nine years old, my mother overdosed. Um, I tried to seek refuge in a different family member, but and with him being my only living parent, I had no choice but to go back to him. At that point, that's when he started to molest me. There's this one part I remember so viv vividly. 13 years old, my father called me into the bathroom and he said, I want you to watch something. He made me watch a pornographic video of a lady giving oral to a man. When, he, when I got done, he took me to our garage and he said, that video that you watched, I want you to do that to me. And I've been trying to fight to have my truth put out there since I was 17 years old. So this is happening from ages 9 to 13, that he's sexually abusing it, you? It went on until I was 15 years old. Until, so it at, went on for a long time. At 15, um, I went to a church camp. There's a pastor there that gave a sermon. And it made me stand up in front of hundreds of people and tell them what was being done to me. The next day, I got home, and the police were escorting him out of the house. <laughs> now, it sounds good, but he wasn't arrested. They didn't arrest him because they needed to do an investigation. I got told from him, do you want to do this? Do you want to lose your family? You're going to be causing this. You're going to lose everyone that you love and care about because you won't let this go. I'll never do it again if, if, if you do stop. Just forget about six years of abuse. Yeah. So I ran away I am in a juvenile facility because I was considered run away and I wouldn't go back. It was my time to tell the truth. No one's going to stop me anymore. As court date, he pled to four years. So he pled guilty in court? Yep. Did you have to testify at all? Yes, I did. Um, what was that like, testifying against your own father? Honestly, it didn't feel as good as I thought it would. Um, the whole time that I was giving my testimony, I was staring at him, hoping he'd make eye contact so I could tell him, you're not taking my voice no more. You're not going to make me feel like a little kid trapped in a cage no more. He didn't look at you? He would not make eye contact, Steve. So he, he pleads guilty, right? Why wouldn't the rest of the family at this point say, he must have did it? And when I asked around, I was like, well, if you don't believe me, he pleaded. Why, why are you still not believing me? Would you say he, the he majority of your family didn't believe you even after he pled this? Yeah. Were, were family members mad at you? Yes. Yeah. I still don't talk to, I'm the black sheep of the family. I got excluded from everything, uh, but when I asked around and you know tried to get 
figure out why I was still the black sheep and why no one wanted to, because he only took the plea deal because. Four years is a pretty good deal for uh, sexually assaulting somebody. Exactly. So he's child, like, I, he didn't want to take the risk. And he didn't want to take the risk and end up locked up for more than four years. So I'm just going to take it because it's a lesser amount that I could get. So he goes to prison. What happens to you and your siblings? We all get shipped off. Um, I stay in my facility um, until I'm 17. Um, my siblings all go to foster homes. Um, Where'd your little brother go? He went with a foster family. He got adopted. Um, and I lost contact with him until up of early this year. Oh, and how did you reconnect with your brother? Um, I was speaking to a different sibling, and he was like, he wants to talk to you. And I was like, he was like, I told him, I said, I love him. Even though he's around that I still love him. I still want to be because Because he was having a relationship with your father, right? Let's meet your brother, Zach. Let me tell the truth, Tess. Seven years. Seven years. I lost. That's my dad. dad. You think I want to lose you too? See, you I love my dad. Teaching me everything. Teaching me to be a man. This isn't fair to me. You want to take that away? I can't get those years back. Too. He, he didn't. Dad too. He didn't even die a month ago. Look, you're bringing it up already. What? 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 What chance did I have? I tried. He Before didn't he do any away. of this to me. Nothing. But he didn't. Why would? You're a why? boy. You're a why? boy. Then why is I that? I was a girl. Okay. You think he's got to do it to more siblings? So, so they have more proof? We have so how many siblings? How many people in that house? It's a, exactly. And I got chosen. If it wasn't me, would you be screaming you at someone what? else? You see how many people are in that house. You're the only one on this show. <laughs> you better be telling the truth, Tess. I promise you. You're going to see. And when you see, I want an apology. <laughs> You took away my only parent I had left. He was my mine only too. parent. He was mine too. But you obviously you didn't love him. I had a connection. That him. was my idol. I loved that him. That was my he dad. Did he love me, or did he love me too much? Did he love me too much? Okay, we have other siblings in the house, Tess. So you believe because he didn't touch anybody else that he didn't touch her? I mean, I'm. I was so young. Steve. Yeah. You were young, I and you still are young. I never, I still haven't even heard the full story yeah. for myself, Steve. Um, it's hard to believe something that you never Can you heard. imagine, though, uh, because you were in a really tough position, too, because, one, your family gets blown apart. Now you're a young man, and you reconnect with your father. And tell me about that period of when you get back together with your dad. My dad, I mean, he's my idol. Like, he's teaching me, I, I picked up on... How to be, how to have a good work ethic. How to, uh, starting, he was starting to teach me how to become a, a man, you know. And he, one thing I really picked up from him was keeping your head up no matter what was going on in your life. How long did you reconnect for before he passed away? A week before I turned 18. A week before my. Oh, so, so you had like two years with your dad then? Uh, a year, a year yeah, and a half. Yeah. Yep. Okay, something like that. Before he and, passed away. And that, and that was. You say a, a good time, and you re yeah, it was strong. It was strong connection. I mean, yeah. Other than being mad right now, how do you feel about your sister? It's, it's just crazy. I mean, do you want a relationship with your sister? I would love a relationship with my sister, but these these things put a toll on it. I mean, I, I never heard their full story. Now, can I ask you this? Can you imagine being a little kid and somebody somebody sexually abusing you? Uh, you know, you're very fortunate it didn't happen to you. It happens all the time to people because I do this show and I'd say, hey, um, when you're a dad, you, you, your whole job in life is, you know, one, to love, but two, to really protect your children. And if he did this to her, he caused damage to her that she's going to have to live with for the rest of her life. Did your dad really love you? Yes, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he looked at his son and loved you just like I love my own son, right? Yes, I'm sure he did. I, I yes, don't sir. doubt that for one second. But do men, do certain men have evil in them? Yes, mm -hmm. we know that. Um, any reason she would make this up? I, I mean, because she's in the same I mean, boat. Mom's gone. I mean, my dad would sit there and, you know, look me in my eye and tell me the same thing every time. I mean, 
Why is he going to sit there and tell? Why did he plead guilty? And, uh, did to you get ask? a lesser sentence? He's a, he's a master oh, manipulator. Oh, okay, hold on. Are you going to take? Even if I committed a crime, right? Say I committed a crime. Do you think I'd go into court? But like, yeah, I did it. No, man. Most guys say, no way. Well, would, you I, rather, would you rather sit there and just take the longer sentence? I'll, I'll, I'll say this. If I didn't commit a crime and I was on trial, there's no way in hell I'm accepting a plea deal. No way. I mean, some people just don't want to deal with the, the sentence. They I'm got saying, other things to do in life. Our dad was a hard worker. I don't, I, you know, I, sure. But can you imagine going to prison for four years? I mean, have you ever been to a prison? No, sir. It's brutal. Maybe you don't, I'm into. telling you, you didn't want to take that chance of even well, getting yeah, that Yeah, you know what? I think he said, man, four years? That might be a pretty good deal. Well, of course it's, you're going to look on it from that side. If you did it, you say, OK, I'm getting off light here. I'm only doing four years for, for a horrific right, crime. Right, but of course, if, you're, if it's, it's sides, right? You really believe it? You're not choosing I see your it. sisters. Um, what if she is lying? She takes this lie detector to test, well, and she fails. <laughs> It'd just be safe to say to us that we can go back to our old ways and not talk again if you're if you're lying. Well, it's a good thing I'm not. Well, you better hope. Let's let's see. <clears throat> Tess came here, and we asked her, "Are you lying?" When you say that your father forced you to perform sexual acts on him. She answered no. And the result for her lie detector test is that Tess told the truth. <laughs> I didn't believe you. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's, 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 I don't blame you for finding it hard to believe her because when you get everything taken away in your life and your dad is telling you, hey, I didn't do this and I love you, son, we all want to believe in our fathers, right? I don't think you did anything wrong here. It's, and it's going to be tough for you to now know that your father did some really bad stuff. I'm pissed. I mean, and I'm, and I'm so sorry that I didn't believe you. It's... I'm not mad at you. I understand. Like he was a manipulator. I hope we can. And he did it so easily. <laughs> he had the whole family fooled. Do you? Uh, I asked you this earlier. When your family watches this show, when they find out the results, do you think that any of them will be open to the possibility of saying, "Hey, we're sorry. We didn't believe you." Yeah. I don't and see that. You can see yourself now. Moving on with your sister. Oh yeah, I want to. I want to help you believe. Because you don't have a lot, right? I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm homeless myself. I mean. <laughs> I certainly hope that things get much better for you. Thank I really you, do. Um, and I, I hope this helps you. Thank you so much. And uh, really did. like I said, you know, you don't have a lot in this world, but you do have each other, and I hope that you, you'll develop that bond. Definitely. Even <laughs>
Isaiah says his toxic relationship with his ex, Brianna, has left him with trust issues and caused him to doubt the paternity of their three children. Whoa. You see, he says she recently revealed to him that their daughter wasn't his after she did a DNA test behind his back with another man. Whoa. She also gave his oldest son another man's last name. And now, and now he's questioning the paternity of them all. However, Brianna says Isaiah knows he's the father of her two sons and is so upset about her daughter that he takes it out on all of their children. Oh. It's gotten so bad that he even accuses her of abusing her own child. So Isaiah, um, it must be tough. You had this family, you're living together, and you're looking at these kids and you have to doubt whether they're yours or not. Yeah, it is. It's very, very hard. When I got with her, she already had a son. So I just, I don't know, she was older than me, she's 24, I was 19. I just expected, I don't know, a little, a little bit more. Like, as a woman, she's older than me, she teach me a little bit more, show me how to be a man, something I'd never had in life. So, well, I kind of like moving in with her, started raising her older son, and we ended up like kind of breaking up after that, and she ended up getting another boyfriend, and then ended up messing with me, and then had, got pregnant with my other son. She thought it was his. She it, thought it was the other guys. Yeah, she thought it was the other guys. And she did a DNA test like a week after that because he had went to jail. And uh, she did a DNA test and come to find out that he was hit, wasn't his child, he was mine. But I've never did got Did you it. do a DNA test? No, I never did. I'm just, going off of, I'm just going off of her saying it's mine. Yeah. I had my daughter and everything just changed. And she, she got you off the drugs yeah, and everything? Yeah, she got me so clean. Like, she, like, it's literally my word, like, made everything, like. But then she tells you, oh, by the way, she's yeah, not yours. She's not yours. So how, how did you handle that? I called 911. I fell out in the bathroom. I couldn't breathe. Like, I could not. Oh, so you felt like, like you yeah, needed I, I medical like, attention. Yeah, I felt like I, I, could, I could not go. I ran outside to take my shirt off. I, like, I could not catch my breath. I felt like my lungs were in caving. I could not breathe at all. Um, you also say you believe that she's abused her son. Yes. When that. he was younger. Yeah, that uh, with that scenario, like uh, we we had broken up, we weren't together and stuff, and like she was just she was going through a rough patch or whatever, and uh, so I had got my kids from her because I picked up my kids one time and my son had this. Uh, to me, it looked like a burn on his face, but she tries to tell me that he fell and hit his hit his face on a peg, and uh, I kind of like took all my kids. I took them to the courthouse and basically showed the judge the picture, showed everything to the judge, and he granted me an emergency order of protection. And I had them for about almost three months, about three months. And then we finally went to court. And to be honest, I, I lost. I mean, it's got to be tough where kids are in the house, out of the house, yeah. with you, with her, with another guy. Yes, it is. And I just want to get like to the bottom of it because I just, I, I'm, I don't know what to do anymore. This is like literally. Now, like, when you did that, and I want you to be honest with me, when you said, oh, I think she's abused my son, were you just being vindictive to her? No, like, no, I, no. You really believed it. How old was the son when he got hurt? It was like four. It was four. like four. Did you ask him, hey, how'd this happen? He said he was playing. So he verified the yeah, mom's he, he story. Was, he was playing, yeah, but I don't know. All right. Well, let's meet Brianna. Yeah, I would stand up too if I was you. Yeah. I do a lot. I'm you a definitely lie. lie. Hello, Listen. Steve Lopez. I just want you to know I watch you every single day and you're amazing. Thank but you. But you're a liar. Mm -hmm. For one, when we first started dating, we were dating for almost a year. You left, ran off. Like I said. I started dating somebody. You started doing drugs. Like smoking I said. Dope, like okay? I said. So while I was dating somebody having a nice little life, you got pregnant you, by me. You, you got pregnant by on, me, right? Hold on, I'm not done. Okay. I'm speaking. All right. Thank you. You had All your right. turn to speak to these people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I'm speaking now. Mm -hmm. You wanted me to be a bully, I'll be a bully on national TV. How about that? Prove it. Go ahead. So Go what ahead. actually happened was I got pregnant. I had sex with you, my ex, such a slut. So call me a hoe if you want to call so me a hoe. So you were sleeping with both guys. Don't you were sleeping with both guys. No, at the same well, at that current. Right. Them so I'm period, saying, yes, I could was. that baby that you got pregnant what? with. No, because guess what, Steve? I've already done a DNA test with 
the first one that I bought with the first child, mm -hmm. and Isaiah refused to take it. So mm -hmm. then with the second child that we're about to refused, speak on next, I bought refused. a DNA test with that child too, and he refused to take it. Yep. I didn't do it behind true? his back. No. Is that true? Couldn't no. have done it behind refused? his back because no, no, I asked no, him several no, no, times, no, even no, in her, no, not even in the delivery no, actually, room, no, when you right. signed her birth certificate, yep. I looked you in right in the face and said, "Because." Side note, Steve. Why was I in the room then? Let's because I didn't know if it was your daughter or but, not. But what you, you told me? You already knew. But you just me, lied to this you just, man. You just told me. But you, you just lied. You just told me. But you just you, lied. You, 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 you just lied. I got you, no you, security you, on your ass. You just told me. I swear to God, I was. I swear to God. Out of my face, I bro. Wasn't, I wasn't in the room because, oh, you would have to be comfortable. You you weren't comfortable. I wasn't comfortable so, so, having a C-section with you standing next to me about the kid. If it was team. Like I said, get to the Because while you were smoking dope with the next Let's girl, the next ex, yep. you were smoking dope with the next one, mm -hmm. and the next baby came, mm -hmm. right? Who was pill popping? Right. You were pill popping. Right? Who was pill popping? You. I was pregnant. Right make it make sense. You don't even add up. Popping pills. Two plus two don't equal four in your brain. Pill popping. Did you? Popping. You're never going to have a successful relationship if you start putting walls up. Anyone on. ever? Right. If I die tomorrow, I mean, if you love you somebody, you got to open up completely. And that's what I tell him, Steve, because I am. I have. I'm not going to get all into it, but I am sick. I have something in my my nervous system, and it's my left side of my body is like slowly like like shutting down, kind of thing. Whatever. I'm not going to be here forever. Please don't and if use you're, that I'm just you're, saying, you're, you're, and if you're, you're insecure, that, you use that to listen. your advantage so much in life. It's not even funny anymore. You use that to everything. You I got, swear to God, by like the end you, of this you show, Steve, I'm going to hate this You always want someone to feel some type of way because of what you're going through. You dragged you everyone through. You didn't even let me like like statement, bro. You dragged bro. everyone through. Now, because it's all center attention to you. Hey, Steve, I what I was going to say, I'm going to say it mad now, though, because what I was going to say was, I'm sick as right, bro? And I'm going to die one day, right? Sooner than him, probably, right? Fake ass tears. What? Back in a bucket. Fake ass tears, bitch. You just flipped the anger switch. What you mean? You were just I was like just crying, you. talking to you, put my feelings out there, and you cold hearted, shut me down like I'm not. That's how I so what I do? Life. Put my wall up. That's how I felt my whole life. The whole life ain't my problem. Mm -hmm. I'm not your. Sat here and raised a child for you. four years. I wait. I run back for four years. And then you gonna call and be like, hey, <laughs> your daughter's not yours. <laughs> oh, I did it. Out of here. Trust, trust me, trust me, trust Steve, me. Steve, we trust went that. to Michigan. This man looked me in my face on the way to Michigan. We went to Michigan, right? This man moved. Hold on, y'all keep clapping. Keep clapping. This man moved me and our two children that he knew was possibly not his daughter mm -hmm. to Michigan. He made me on the way there promise. Promise me you will not. What does that have to do with what I'm saying? I think that's when I had my daughter. I Three my years daughter. before that, yeah. you got clean, so we're we're here now. So, like I was saying, three years before I'm talking about, stop interrupting me. This is why we fight, Steve. Do you see why we fight? Yeah, and I can't, I can't talk. imagine. I, I, I can't imagine. Like some people, I guess, love he asked fighting. 27 questions. And they love the drama. But again, even if you two it love it, on. the kids can't love it. That's the thing. No, they don't. And they hate. And they hate. Being able to see their father for a little bit and then we because we can't fix our and then they lose their father again. You came here and the, the little girl that's up on screen now, the daughter. DNA test, uh, Isaiah, you are not the father of Brianna's daughter. When you love a child and you that's still his child. hope it, right, and you hope. But you hope that she's biological. That it, yours. She has his last name. It's got to hurt. She, he made her heart. Okay. That's the bigger part uh, than her face. Then we gave you way a, more important. Uh, a DNA test on Brianna's youngest son. <laughs> I got to say, without even looking at the results, those, that kid's yours, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Zay, concerning this little boy right here, you took a DNA test and... Uh, Isaiah, you are the father of Brianna's name. You didn't, uh, my wife just told me, you didn't really have doubts about the youngest guy, but what about this guy? Do you have doubts? There is a chance, yes. Oh, there is that. a chance. Yeah, and Isaiah did not even meet him until he was seven years old, or seven months old. Okay. I was with a whole other person. I cheated on that person with him. <laughs> you can't Just make saying. it up. Uh, I I see you took a DNA test concerning this little guy right here, and the results for that DNA test is that you 
are the father of Brianna Taylor. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to do the test. I have the test ready. I have it all. He's never wanted to look at it. <sighs> this is why. And how that little girl saved my life. And you just, she just, the same thing as me, just calling me. So you haven't shown it all over again? Why? just means that you are her father by choice. You got to choose her. She got to choose you. So then don't pay child support now about your money. I can't. I can't so, change. okay, so Steve, now I'm really gonna get mad again because he up every time, bro. I can't change. Bruh. took a lie detector test, and this was about the abuse. Yeah. And we asked you, did you make up the story about your oldest son's injury? You answered no. Do you have knowledge of anyone causing that injury to your son? You answered no. Did you cause the injury to your son's face? You answered no. Uh, the results came back all the same to each one of those questions, and it came back that Brianna did not tell the truth. <laughs> I hold on, with hold her, on, I said. I literally said now that. she's failed for the abuse, so it wasn't it wasn't it's, that was wrong. I was thinking maybe you were being a little vindictive, but you had some fatherly instinct. Can you tell that I stopped the third test hold on, hold on because second. I thought he was on the phone with the girl, you, with, the, with the other girl? Can yeah. you be quiet for a second? Now she's failed this test, which we put a I lot of stock into it. Um, this has got to change I something, now, told right? You. Yeah. No, can we do okay. it? Look on some. Either A, could what you ask you the guy to now? hire, or we could do it again. What do you do now? Leave. I don't care. Gotta, That's fine. Go. Believe it. I don't give a shit. I got to go. You got to go. <laughs> no, okay, see. Okay. Okay. For the record, I thing. have complex regional pain syndrome. Every single person can go and Google it. Hey, you know what? It can you stand up for one second? Can system. you stand up for one second? You're really going to do that, Steve? Yes, I'm really going to do that. Stand up. I did. I did. He literally yeah. went to my How brain and my brain. Brain. child your little boy that that's the concerning thing here you know I know you heard about the little girl but what about this like I've had people I did have people come and tell me like like she's like punching me punch my son in his chest saying oh you look like your dad and like I just I didn't bro I called the cops and everything bro the cops didn't even give me my kid bro what but here's the thing 
Oh my you know, God. We could talk about cops I know, and I know. other guys and this and that. You need to make some changes in your life. Mm -hmm. And the biggest one is getting rid of her. I hope you can do it, bro. Good luck to you, man. Tiana, did you sleep with his best friend? Hell yeah, dude. Oh. After, after you got married? No, I slept with his best friend because I wanted to be spiteful. You wanted to be spiteful? Yeah, because he, had, way he had left me. I took him in, let him move in, like I was taking care of him. I did everything for the man. But he left me for his ex. So yeah, I'm gonna sleep with your best friend. Every time you do some dumb shit, I'm gonna sleep with him every time. So the best friend is really reaping some pretty good benefits there. <laughs> Best friend's got to be room for him to do dumb <laughs> When we first met, I was leaving my boo thing's house, going back to my man's. I seen Denzel. I stopped him, like, oh, you're cute. Let me get your number. And then I linked him. Three hours later, we had sex. <laughs> first day. Wow. So we went back home. I went my way. He went his way. We broke up with our exes at the time. We got back together. So I moved him in. Everything was going good. Everything was cool. I was working. So I was assistant manager for Taco Bell. I was nice. always at work, so I can't. I love running for the we had bought. I had bought um, two dogs. They're like our kids. Yeah. And he had to stay home and take care of our animals. While I was at work, I had received a text message from a girl saying, do I know you? So I hit her back, like, do I know you? She's like, nah. I'm so like, what's up? So what's this about? She's like, oh, you messing with Denzel. I said, yeah, that's my man. He like, he's in my bed every night. She's like, it can because too. Like he's talking about. Let's he, just use a sorry. different word. Yeah. Um, he's like, she's like, yeah, we have. He We're being, making romantic love. <laughs> he, yeah. So he um, denied. I questioned him about it. He was denying it. She was like, yeah, he's about to give me a baby. I questioned. He's like, nah. It's just I was bored. It ain't true. I never met the girl. I'm like, whatever. We let it go. Well, when I slept with his best friend. We weren't together. I did it to be spiteful. And for him, for his job, when we moved to the city in Harlem, where his hometown is, after like three months later. From, New York. Yes, we moved to New York and three months later. When we moved, um, I allowed him to go to work this time. I like, you allowed him to go to work? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, you can take the, we can take turns now. You work, I stay home with the animals. OK, we did that. Well, I would have his clothes laid out every day. For work? For work. I would get his book bag ready for lunch, water, headphones, no clothes in there. You go into Brooklyn where your ex lives at. Supposedly you're working though, but you're coming home in different clothes that I had picked out for you. He's wearing something that different than when he left Yeah, the but I've never seen these clothes. I buy his clothes, so where are you getting these clothes? I know you, at your job, your boss ain't just handing you clothes. He's like, oh, I'm just sweating. I'm like, all right, whatever. I let it go. I proposed to him. You proposed to him? Yeah, I proposed to him. Because I do love Denzel, right? I see faith You love in... drama. <laughs> All right, yeah. So... So... Do you control him? Sometimes. Do you uh, break his phone? Yes, I break his phone because... Why are you hitting other females? Why is other females but, but, texting but, you? Know, but then you got to buy a new phone, right? And I do. But, but I don't understand I'm that. I'm going to keep breaking the phone that I yeah, buy but, every yeah, time. Yeah, but what, what, I, I never understood people breaking their own stuff. Well, he shouldn't have these females hitting him yeah, up. Yeah, but you, are you, you're the one paying the price. Anyway, well, he need to be You put him on lockdown? No. Yeah. Wait, I'm not abusive, for one. I'm not abusive. He says you kick his ass. Yeah, I'm gonna kick his ass, yeah, but I'm not abusive, right? <laughs> I don't tell him, he listen, I don't tell him to put his head down. Like, the other night we were at the hotel, there was a female walking by. I looked at him, I didn't even have to say nothing, he had his head out on the ground already. I don't have to make him do nothing, it's his choice, he's, oh, he's his own person. So he should not look at another female. Go ahead, if you want, go ahead. I'm your wife, so yeah, at the end of the day. Th th that's the whole point. But he made it seem like I'm abusive. I'm not abusive, Steve. I'm telling you right now, I know he's watching. I know you back there watching, bitch. But I'm telling you right now, if you fail this, we're scrapping. You refer to your husband as that bitch. He... We just live in different worlds, I guess. Okay, so... I would never... <laughs> 
in a million years utter the word bitch when I'm referring to my wife. Do you know what I mean? Like, what's, what, what is going on? There's somebody <laughs> you love and you're referring to him in such a derogatory manner. Me and him have a certain way we be talking to each other that no one understands. Yeah, like, between, you're but correct. me and him, like, we, we're cool to talk so to each other. So, not derogatory for you, it's a term of affection. <laughs> Do you really believe that? No. No. Okay, let's meet Denzel. Denzel, are you dead ass right now? You mad funny, bro. You're mad, mad funny. funny. You're mad funny, bro. How am I mad funny? I'm telling you right now, you better pass this, bro. I'm telling you now. You better pass Denzel, this. Denzel, I already told you what's up. I'm telling you right now, you better pass this or it's up for We're you. We're flying colors. Don't worry bro, about it. I don't it. care. What you, you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? Go what ahead, you gonna man. do? I'm you ain't gonna do it. You know what's right, up. Cool, cool, you cool. know. Cool. Right. Is she ready to be married? I don't think she is. No. You don't. I don't bro, think so. you ain't ready. You a 15 year old little boy. You don't act like a man. You can't be a man. Why do I have to propose to you, I'm, though? I'm not saying that. Why do I have to be um, the man to propose, though? You're married now, right? Yes. How long have you been married? Six months? Six months. OK. She's torn up the marriage certificate. <laughs> yeah. She gets mad at you. She punches you in the face. She breaks Punch your you. phone, and then she buys you a new one. Yes. Like, you're living in crazy town. He's not innocent. Yes, it is, but... You innocent? You innocent? It is, it is, it is, it is but at the I'm same time... I'm not saying token, you're innocent. I'm saying no. no, but you seem like a laid-back dude. I am. Okay, and I can't imagine living in mm. that situation, uh -huh. you know, where my wife would punch me in the face, sleep with my best friend. Like, to me, that is not normal or enjoyable. It's not. Question. Why would you get back with me and don't ask stuff with your best friend? You said, why would I get back with you before you sleep with my best mm -hmm. friend? It's because I chase love. I, I'm, a, I'm a lovable person. You're a dummy. You're a dummy. I'm a dummy. You're a dummy. Do you love Let's her? see after that show. Do you love her? I do love her. Are you happy? Or oh, the bottom of my heart. Yes, are I you am. happy? I am. You are happy. I am. He likes it. What do you mean? You two are a freak show, man. <laughs> I mean, really? Do you plan on having kids? Yes. That's a terrible We're idea. We're trying. I have one. That is a terrible idea. I already have I one, Steve. Like so it's like, you yeah, need to but be a man. that child is. She, does he stay with you? No. Or she stay with you? No. No. That's that a good isn't idea. That is your child. Okay, let's not be mean. Right, we're not gonna do that. Okay, Denzel. We Denzel. Since being in a relationship with Kiana, did you ever have sexual contact with one of her best friends? Nope. He said no. Since being in a relationship with Kiana, did you ever have sexual intercourse with one of her best friends? Nope. He said no. Since being married to Kiana, have you had sexual contact with any other woman? Nope. You answered no. Since being married to Kiana, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? He answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Denzel told the truth. If someday when you become a mother, you're gonna hit your kids? Absolutely no, not. That's bad as no, examples. No, that's bad. And you know no. why? Because you're going to love your kids, right? Right. And when you love something, you don't hurt them. You're right. Kiana came here and took a lot to tuck the test. Oh, man. Let's go. And we asked her, <laughs> since being married to Denzel, other than that one time, have you had sexual contact with any other man? She answered no. Since being married to Denzel, other than that one time, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man? She answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Kiana did not tell the truth. <laughs> You 
already know, real? though. You already knew. I already knew. You, you knew. You I already knew. knew. How did I know? Though, Who are you cheating How did with? I know? <laughs> you only been married six months. A one night stand? Yeah, but you're not supposed to have a one night stand when you get married. I know. If it it's weird. Why'd you bro. do it? <laughs> to be it's spiteful weird. to him. Again? But I have not cheated on you not once, not once. I've, since we've I, been together, since we've been now. together for the six years, I have not cheated on you once. Once. You yeah. knew you were going to fail, right? Yeah. <laughs> and he knew I was going to fail, too. She, she's very spiteful. And listen, when you have problems in your marriage, you don't become spiteful. Even though we might feel it, you're not supposed to do it. And to go out and then sleep with people to be spiteful, that's, mm -hmm. that's why I say, I don't think you're ready for marriage. You want a divorce? You want a divorce? If I wanted a divorce, I, would, I think I'd have been put that divorce in. All right, then. You want to stay in this? I'm, I'm, I am. Okay. We love each other, and we, uh, we had questions, you know, and we got the answers, and we're going to get forward with it. Hopefully, we can. But and I'm I apologize. Right now, I'm ain't no, sorry. Ain't no more screw-ups, bro. I'm not doing with no more screw-ups. Like, you think you're going to screw up now, like, or, or any, any given time in life, like, right now is the time to death it. So I'm just asking you right now, on our marriage, mm -hmm. what do you want to do? Move forward. Are you going to cheat again? No. Because it's like, all right, you know what, boom. If another dude get next to you, I'm, I'm going, already going to have my You're minds up. Like, I'm already going to have my guards I'm gonna up. I'm going to keep up every time you can't be a man. Every time you mess every up. Every time I can't be a man? Girl, you really ain't a man. This is it for her. What? I don't think this is it for her. Was you. it the best friend? Tell me the truth. Hell yeah. So, so there's more than just being spiteful. She likes sleeping with that guy. She likes She likes sleeping with that guy. Yeah, I know. But, I'm um, big petty, and I'm so, gonna keep so look, being boom, big right? petty So So look, boom, right? So look, boom. So since you like, so you're gonna keep sleeping like being with big that petty, guy. Since and you absolutely. Pick game, pick game, pick game, pick game, right? Since you like being big okay, petty. You hear her saying this. Every time you screw up, she's gonna sleep with that other dude. And it's fine. She can go ahead. She can have him. And you want to be married? I'm not. It don't. It don't be. It don't need to be married. If, it, if that's the case, we don't need to be married. See? That's my point. So you, so you feel like? So you feel like? Listen, I'm gonna tell you like this right now. You feel like? Because I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna hit him up anyway. We're gonna have words. Me and him gonna have words. Oh, go ahead. Hit so him up. so I'm just letting you? you know. I'm just letting you know. You? Yeah, you could call him. You can do whatever okay. you want to. When you hear her just say, you know that my right body. Now. You know hey, my body. Hey, okay. hey, oh, all right. right. Hey, when you hear her. So you want to get turned up right now? You don't want to do that. You want to turn up right now? You don't want to do that. I don't hit females. Go call that. Do you know how? Serious. You are to him right now. Yeah, I'm mad that she's back for right now. Right, I have yeah. a reason. That's, that's her. That's her. You know have a reason. Yes. You know what it is? Yes. That's her family He's situation. Not it's He's her not family innocent. situation. She time. get it from home. You know what? You know I gotta stop cool. this. You can cool. get the hell off my stage. <laughs> See, she, hold on, hold on, hold on. She she took her ring off and threw it. She she threw it at him. Okay. But let me tell you something. My, my, ring, my ring can't come off, Steve. My ring can't come off, Steve. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just giving you a piece of You know. I know. I, I'm just saying, from one man to another, you stay in this relationship, you are in for a lifetime of headaches. Good luck to you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. What happened two months ago? I took my daughter and my granddaughter out. We were shopping. Brought them clothes, brought me some clothes, and brought, brought them something to eat. And I gave my daughter money for bingo. And me and my granddaughter went on back to the house. And when I get to the house, I found out my money was missing from my cash app. And so I ended up calling the police. And then, How much money was missing? Oh, it's the twenty-five dollars from the cash app. Was anything else stolen? When, then, when the police got there, went back to the safe, 
I went up to the state and I found out that my jewelry was missing, a $6,000 wedding ring, a $1,000 neck gold chain, $1,000 gold studs, diamond studs, a $800 tennis bracelet, and a $200 bracelet. And some of those things that my husband had gave me, and I, and a kid get it back. Because so my husband Not only seats. did they have a, a lot of monetary value, they had a lot of sentimental value too. Right. My husband is deceased now, so I can't get it back. And, and they stole that out of a safe? Yes. And what is that, a combination safe? It's, it's a key safe. Key safe. I didn't know, me and my husband didn't know how to put the, the combination in. So we just had the key, and you know, and I laid my keys around, so it's easy. Oh, okay. So, so anybody keys. could have had access to the keys. Yeah. Okay. Who do you think of uh, the people that are all here, who do you think is the prime suspect? My son. Your son? Yes. Uh, Picard. Um, and why, why do you think he is the prime suspect? He stole hundreds of dollars from me, stole a gold ring from me before, and... Why does your son steal from you? <laughs> I have no idea why they do what they think that they do. And he lives with you? Yes, he lives with me, and I've been nothing but nice to him. But, I mean, after he s steals from you and you knew that he's stolen from you before, why don't you kick his ass out of the house? I, I did. I did before. And then I got sick. I got sick again. And then, and then, um, then I went blind. I had a, a, a stroke, and then I couldn't. See, so he moved back in to help with you with back. your medical? He claimed that he did, <laughs> yeah. But he didn't really help you? No. Now, you think he sabotaged your security cameras? Yes. How did he do that? Um, you have them in your house? Yes, I have. I've done two security. First, I went out and I brought some security cameras, and then I put the SIM cards in. Then I came back down the next day, SIM cards are missing from the security cameras. <laughs> so then I had to go and I installed it professionally. And then I put a lockbox on the one downstairs, and he broke the lockbox and unplugged the camera. And you know he did this? Yes, I do. Yeah. I know, but the SIM cards, I'm not for sure. Yeah. And why do you think Shay's also a su uh, suspect? Because she, she's stolen from me also. And did you confront her? Confront her, all she do is smile. Everything is funny. It's just smile, they just laugh in my face. They think I'm crazy, I'm delusional, whatever. And Shay's your granddaughter. Yes, she is. And Chiquita yours is your daughter, and you think that she steals from you too? Yes, she has stole over six hundred dollars from me, maxed out two of my credit cards, and to go bingo. <laughs> your daughter pawned one of your bracelets. Yes, she pawned my bracelet that my sister got me for Christmas. And it was the bad part about it. She, I was on my way to a funeral. She helped me, was helping me look for it, knowing the whole time that she had pawned my bracelet. They got mad because the pawn shop told me that she practically pawned it. She was mad at the pawn shop. Yeah. <laughs> Suspect number one, Chiquita. You need to stop lying to all these people. You are so making this up. You know your son is the only thief that ever took anything from you. He's still from the whole damn family. Chiquita, you stole six hundred dollars off my credit card, maxed them out, and, and that's still stealing. And then you not get your money back. And then you not get your money back. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I'm paying it back. And what does that mean? I don't give. Your mom says you stole the bracelet, and then when she went to look for it, uh, that you pretended like to help her find it, and then the pawn shop told her you pawned it there. Steve. Did you do that? I know. He, she would have, at that point, blamed it on Bakar, and so I didn't want did her to do that. She, she would have made me did, blame it on yeah, my son. Yeah, she would have blamed she it on Bakar. See, and that's what they do. That made me blame you. But you did take and it. And I didn't. I didn't. I forgot to bring it when she came and got me or whatever. So yeah. I just brought it or back the next day. Just, no, you didn't. I yeah. went and got it out the pond. I Mom, paid you're for a, it. Mama, you're a liar. Why you went with me and I had to go and pay to get it out the pond? Mama, you're a liar. You went with me. Yes, you did. You went with me and I paid to get it out the pond. That wasn't even your that was in pond. That was okay. something you, else. You lost okay. yours. I paid to get mine out of the bracelet. You did. You, you did that. Did you, did you, did you, did you max out her credit cards? Yes, but I paid her all three hundred dollars back. But, but okay. <laughs> if you did it without asking, you do realize that's stealing. 
first of all, the thing is, Steve. Okay. What happened was, I had, I had asked her for twenty dollars because she had took on my whole day or whatever, wow. and she got pretend like she did. She is your mom. She had pretend. I don't. Okay, I understand that, but she does this on a day-to-day -day basis. So if I feel like if I ask you for $20 and you're taking on my day seven days a week. She should just give you the 20. I, I, it's not I, the wrong I, I, I don't owe you anything. But if she doesn't give you the 20, that gives you the right to use her credit card. I gave it back. Did you steal her weight loss medication? No, I don't need her weight loss medicine because like, we see the same doctor. I get my own. What about your daughter? No, my daughter didn't take nothing from her. She's not a thief? <laughs> My daughter takes stuff like perfume and stuff, but if she, and then you, you can she tell. She steals, but not big things. Yeah, like, but you can tell if she have it, because she'll use it and leave it laying around, and my mama will find it. Let's meet Shay. <laughs> they're, they're just booing everybody that's coming out. So, um, Shay, you know, you're a young girl, so, you know. We all, when we're young, we, a lot of us made mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Do you feel like you made any mistakes? No. No? no. None? Well, one mistake. What, what's that? Stealing her $25. Oh, you did steal it the, yeah. off the cash app, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Why'd you do that? I had to pay somebody back. It was an emergency, and yeah. I was going to give it back to her. Why, why not just, well, just ask, ask. ask her, say, hey, can I have 25 She already spent a lot of money that day, and it was an emergency, so I was like, the marijuana. So okay. we, yeah. yep, yep. Okay. You yeah, so it was for drugs. <laughs> yep. Okay. Do you know who stole the jewelry? Bacarda or Miss Ruby. I really don't know. Oh, but those are my suspects. But that's who you suspect. Mm -hmm. uh, did you take any of the jewelry? No. No. I don't oh. even steal from her. The only thing I but stole you stole was from your uncle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you steal from him? Because he stole my shoes. He stole my shoes. He stole was, your shoes? Yes, that was $140. Shoes? Why would he steal your shoes? Because he has a bunch of girlfriends. He wanted to oh. get stuff and Okay, please. so he stole your shoes girl. and gave it to his yes. girlfriend. Your son, Picard's here. Yes. He doesn't want to come out on stage. Yes. I am just curious, why don't you want to come out on stage? Because all this abrogation, I, I, yeah. I, I ain't got nothing to do with this. So. When you... Oh, I haven't okay. taken my wine drugs. Okay. I don't got to take none. Okay. Like, like, Let me ask you. You, you? She said I took her. I okay, take but let, let me let me ask a question. Like, you hear everybody kind of admit your sister, man. your niece, everybody so far has admitted they've yeah. stolen something from your mother. Man, I probably had as a kid, but my when's mom, the last time you stole from your mom? Last time, when I was like 15. Which when you were 15. Years ago. When, Did you steal the jewelry? No, sir. You didn't have the key. No, no. Can you just get to the resorts? No, so you deny the stealing everything? Yes. The and you took a lie yeah. to talk to Tucson. Yes, can we get the to yeah, We're going to get to it, but I got to be. If when I live, when I live on Lewis. Man, no, bro. I'm okay, to you're all going to hang out as one big loving family. Okay. I'm going to go out and talk to Ruby, and then we'll get to the lie to talk results. Okay. You can go ahead and sit down. Yeah, she okay. can sit in this chair. Let's bring out Ruby. I love the name because that's my daughter's name. Okay. Um, how are you involved in this? Like, you know, when, like, as just somebody who's, lives, uh, as an outsider, seems like nobody really has a moral compass back there. I know, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you involved in this? Yeah, I work for Miss Andrea, and then I met her, her rotten ass kids. <laughs> <laughs> Or I just can't her team and ask kids. If you had to put money on who stole that jewelry, who would you pick? I couldn't even tell you. No, you don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. Because they're all stealers. They all, she, <laughs> the way, I, you know, I have never seen them steal anything because when I'm there, I keep my keys in my pocket. <laughs> so... <laughs> Will you make sure my green room's locked right now? <laughs> Ruby, we asked you, did you steal any of Andrea's jewelry from her safe? You answered no. Did you steal Andrea's medication? You answered no. Have you ever stolen any medication from Andrea? You answered no. 
results came back all the same, and they came back that Ruby told the truth. <laughs> Shay, you're up first. Did you steal any of your grandmother's jewelry from her safe? You answered no. Have you ever stolen jewelry from your grandmother? You answered no. Results came back the same, and they came back that Shay told the truth. <laughs> Did you steal any of your mom's jewelry? What'd you say? No. No, and you told the truth. We asked you, did you steal any of your mother's medication? And you replied, no. No, you answered no. And you did not tell the truth. Oh. Wow. She, she gave me wow. the pills. I don't know how I felt that. I, I give you what I, when I want yeah, to give you. Yeah, and then you I get to say, why. So you might just why? have some sticky fingers you took some without asking. No, I don't even know where she keep them. That's the thing. I bet you if you stole from them, then it would be a big deal. Look at Bacardi, he's looking a little nervous. He's funny, he's remembering. We asked Bacard, did you take the SIM card from your mother's security camera? He answered no. Have you deliberately stolen any money from your mother? He answered no. Did you steal any of your mother's jewelry from the safe? He answered no. The results came back all the same. And it came back that Picard did not tell the truth. Oh. Really? Hey, why? Why? That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I can't even get. You go back to the I kept laughing. I promise you, I was not laughing at. <laughs> Why would you take? Why would you take from me, man? And you know, Preston gave that to her. Preston gave that to her. That was wrong. And I can't even get none of that back because that's what Preston gave me. And I can't even get it back. Yes, you did. Why are you calling her a bitch? Calm down, calm down, for real. Don't call my mama no bitch. Don't get in public and call my mama no bitch, bro. For real. And like, cause we can go to jail right here, right now. Don't go. Don't get in public and call my mama no bitch, bro. Okay, hold on. Talk, why would hold you do on. that? Talk to your son. You, you, you took it. Bro, I can't you, you took it. You did what you did. Come on. You messed with the security cameras. You did it all to cover all your tracks. When I, I asked you, don't even bro. bring people in my home. You still do that and everything. I guess. And you walked in my house like you were you running or something like, I don't even exist. Why? I, and I, like I told you, when I get back from Mississippi, you got to pick up things. You got to go. Oh, you got to get out of my house. You gotta get out of my house. You steal it from your own mother. What a terrible son. What a terrible person. Get the hell off my stage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Take them too. <laughs> yeah, I guess, man. You're gonna make a pact. No matter what the circumstances, no mercies, no this, no that, we're not stealing from her anymore. No, well, just okay. say, okay. yes, yeah. Steve. But I really don't even remember hey. them no. I hey. don't know how that hey. happened. Go like this. Yes, yes, Steve. So do it again. <laughs> yes, Steve. Yep. But now you know, and you know the truth. Yeah. Maybe he works and pays you back or something. I yeah, doubt right. it. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah. But you know, if he wants a relationship with his mother, how do you trust your son from stealing and and, and just keep going with the lie? Uh, I hope this helps. Now you know the truth. Good luck to you, man. Nice meeting you. It was nice meeting nice you. Meeting. It was nice. Janasia was sexually molested from the ages of five to thirteen. And just this past July, she put the man who abused her in jail. <laughs> He's currently facing sex abuse charges. The man was her mother's ex. But as the story goes, when Janasia told her mother, Shakela about the abuse, she says she waited for months and never did anything about it. This caused their relationship to crumble, and now, Janasia wonders if her mother knew about the abuse and even allowed it to happen. She's a liar. 
What, she's a liar. What is she lying about? Everything. The things she said to me, like I must have liked it, how she said. Did she really say that she to really, you? She really said that. And Steve, it, it broke my heart because for one, I was a kid. Why, why, why? For one, I was scared. Yeah, it took me a long time to inform you what happened to me, but you can't blame me for that because he a <laughs> And I was, I was scared, so. I, I was, I was really terrified. And I told her when I, when I felt comfortable, you know? And she, she I don't know. What, what, what strikes me, uh, and listen, I do think there's times when maybe parents don't know. But this went on for such a long period of time. Mm -hmm. And your, your mom was dating this guy. Mm -hmm. And so you knew him from probably your earliest memories, right? Mm -hmm. And you went to her and you, you told your mom this was going on. And what was her reaction to that? She said, I should have been told her. The situation would have been handled. She said she would have killed him. She, just, she was trying to say things that, would made, that made me feel comfortable. And it didn't, because I know she was just putting on a front. Because she even said that I told her to wait. I never said that. Th those words never came out of my mouth. Because when I informed my auntie, Alika, what had happened to me, she immediately contacted him. And he didn't even respond. So when I told you what happened to me, you should have immediately contacted him, given the circumstances that that's... Even if you, even if you did say it, and I'm, I'm believing you that you said you, you didn't say it, mm -hmm. but if a child tells a parent, oh, I've been... Uh, sexually abused by this guy for years, but please wait to do anything. The parent would be like, hell no. Exactly. Uh, you know. What happened with, with this ex? Well, from what I remember, um, my mom was at the hospital. She was giving birth to my, my siblings, and he had brought me in the room with him, in her room. And I didn't think anything of it because my mom wasn't there, so I'm like, okay, I get to sleep with my mom in bed. You know, I'm, I'm five, so I was, I was happy. All I recall is in the middle of the night, he puts my feet on his private part, and it just started from there. I don't recall the first time I ever was, the first time he ever forced me to put my I just recall that it happened, and I started doing it. Put my part. Um, also, in that same house where it started with him, she, they had some, some of his family come over, an uncle, a cousin, I don't know. Um, and she allowed them to sleep in our room. She did. She can't say she didn't. She knows the names of them. She allowed them to sleep in our room. And I was raped. And, um, by somebody other than her ex? By his family member. Because the person was related to him. Right. So it didn't just happen with him. It yes. happened with uh, mm -hmm. one of his family. Mm -hmm. How old were you when that happened? I was about the same age, I think about five, six. It was in the same house. It all started in that same exact house at that. I, I can't imagine age. as a five or six year old that happened and what you could possibly be thinking was happening to you. When you first told your mom, what was her reaction? Was it anger? Was it No, she was, she was calm. She was very calm because she didn't believe me. I'm gonna say that, she didn't believe me. It took her until him getting in prison and jail for her to believe me. Like, I, I even did the swab and everything, the rape kit. She still didn't believe me then. Who informed the police where they then actually arrested him? I, I, um, the school, I guess the school informed him, because I told my school, because she wasn't doing anything about it. I knew that I was Oh, suffering. so you told her, and he never was arrested? I did tell her. She didn't call the she police? She didn't call the police. She t told me and my auntie that she filed a police report, but I never did a rape, kit, a rape kit or anything. But you never even talked to the police. I never talked so to the police. So then you went to school and you informed somebody I informed at the, the school. I informed the school this year, yes. And that's when... <laughs> and then she but posted on social media that you must have uh, liked the yes. abuse. Yes, yes. I mean, what the hell is that? Because she don't care. It, it, it didn't happen to her. Yeah, you my daughter, but I don't care about you. She don't care. She she choose like she be choosing men of her of her um of her children. Um, let's meet her, Shakela.
fire story. About? Are you serious? Shakela, you don't know act I would slow. never let that happen. Don't to you. act stupid, Shakela. No. Because Stop I for one, for one, I never said you knew. Do I have? You do you have I to have a feeling? You, you, you didn't. Said you think I knew? You didn't believe me. You yes, can't you say did. you did. Don't you know sat there. You called me a liar. You sat there. You made me call me a liar. I called you. A liar. Shakela. Because you're lying about some of the things. Nothing what? about the Lying about what? Abuse. What? About us not eating? About Just you like not you taking said, care uh, of us? About you putting men uh, over your children? You did that. Stop uh, acting uh, like you uh, did it. Uh, 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 Did you ever send her a text saying you must have liked the abuse? It wasn't a text message. Dude. Or what, did you say that to her? On Facebook, on it was Facebook. not a text message. Okay. Facebook. On Facebook. Social media. Okay. On Facebook. But, so on but, Facebook. But how could a child, oh, uh -uh. hold on, on no, Facebook, no, no, I was no, asking no, no, her. No, 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 no. How could a child like sexual abuse? You guys are misinterpreting what I said. It was asking okay. a question. Okay. Were you liking you it or something? Question? Because why are you flipping what it on me? I wasn't flipping it. Book. It doesn't matter the mother. I was asking a question I needed to know. What mother asked that question? If I liked it, what I told you? The mother that wants to know, if why are you it, flipping the script on I me it, what like I, I did it? A mother that wants to know, Shakela. why am I the one being the bouquet? Shakela, if I what do you, did you like it? Everybody else, but you're not telling me. It, it, sounds, what I have told it, you. it sounds like a mother if who's I trying like to save it. her own ass. Uh, save my mother for what? For what? Do you feel bad about what happened to her? Of course I feel bad. I'm hurt. How? Uh, so, like, this is just the dad in me, the policeman in me. How did this kind of abuse, where he's making her perform oral sex on him, uh, you never noticed like a change in behavior in her? I did. Oh, you did? I, yes, I did. So at an early age? No. I mean, she was she, raped at five. No, 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 no. So she started changing behavior about two and a half years ago. And, and you I never noticed any behavior on his part that would make you think, wow, this guy might be a little creepy or I might have to keep an extra eye on him? No. No. And honestly, I worked a job Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. I had a clothing store, so I was working at nights. Then when the twins came, family and friends did move up to help us with the kids. Yeah, you were so, working a lot, which know, a lot of mothers it, it, have it, to do. <laughs> I, here, this is what I'm saying. I'm not trying to make you look out to be a bad person. I'm not the bad person, so okay. I'm not worried about But that. what I'm saying is, I do think you handled it wrong by saying, uh, did you like it? Did Nobody, you, read, you should did never. You read this but it doesn't matter. No matter how you put it, you should not have put it that way, okay. right? Okay. Um, let's meet Alika. You just gotta be relevant. You know that you I've been a mother be to relevant. your daughter for for four years. You, you know I've been a mother. Be I'm the mother that she first needs. Of all, you, I'm the mother that all, she needs. The mother dead. that you're not. You're, you're sitting here lying. Don't hear it. I don't care and about I me being dead. Rate, You've been though. dead to me when you send me to jail because you know that you because lied. You so when I passed this test, you, you just came on the show to, to humiliate jail. yourself. You deserve that's to exactly what you did. That's what you did. You did it. You know you don't take care of your kids. I let you use my car. You wrecked the fifteen hundred dollars. You stay with me before, and what's your point? I stay with you for a week and you send me to jail. Your lights were off. I made sure your children ate. That's why you're you try to uh, turn you your mad? kids against me. There's yeah. a lot, a lot Nobody's trying to turn anybody lot. against you. Did you stab her with? No, uh, Steve. Yes, she cut me. She with, lied with on scissors. me because. Did you go to jail for it? Yes, Steve. She was sent to jail. She for She lied on me. We were having an altercation because my got out of the house. Janaja and her friend took all of the children. She has seven kids, and then she had other family members with kids staying there as well. Janaja took all the children to the park. When she got back in the house, she never brought or made me aware that they were in the house. Ended up eloping. Um, the police came and, you know, they said they were calling CPS and things like that. So at this time, I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm grabbing all my stuff to leave her house. As we're arguing, she's sitting here saying, well, let's see what the judge going to say. It's not my daughter's fault. Like, why would you even say all of that when you just seen that because we were all in her. the back? He I was, was yelling, her. saying that it was her he daughter's was fault. And yes, I did say it was her daughter's said. fault because, again, if Janaja didn't come get from me, Steve, 
would have still been there and I wouldn't have had to worry about an ACS case. Again, I had I was just moving from another city. But That's you the didn't reason. take scissors and stab her. No, Steve. Night. No, Steve. Why scissors. did the police lock you up? Because they, they said everybody in the house had the same story. Yeah. It's How been long did uh, Janasia live with you? Janasia's been living with me for the last four years. Okay. Let's bring Janasia back up. I'm sorry, what did you just say? She's the mother I need. She's, she allowed the people to molest me. She's like a mother me. figure to you. Yes, she yeah. is. Do you believe that she knew about the molestation? I don't think that she like physically knew. Um, I just think that she suspected something. Mm -hmm. She knew something was up. Um, she even admitted that the, the actions changed of her daughter. She just didn't care because she wants to use the man she was using mm -hmm. him to care for her kids while she ran the street and did what she did. Shakala came here and took a lie detector test. And we asked her, did you allow your ex to molest Janasia? She answered no. Did you know that your ex was molesting Janasia? She answered no. Did you ever see your ex molesting Janasia? She answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Shakela told the truth. No, don't clap. I don't, I don't need y'all sympathy. Girl. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, uh, listen, you, you pass them. for not knowing that this we guy was molesting your daughter. Your daughter was in your house. She's getting sexually abused by your boyfriend. She's getting Ex. raped by another guy. When she's a young girl, um, you certainly didn't handle this the, great, the best way, right? You, you, you'd have yourself care. admit to this. And knowing that your daughter has suffered all this trauma, I think it would be on you to say, I'm gonna do everything to make this better. Steve, I'm gonna be did. honest with you, Steve. And I did. Steve, she don't wanna do it because she's been it. with me. And I did, and she declines it, and we're just gonna leave it at that. I like, declined I do what? Have, I, I mean, because you're in denial. Have, oh, that's you're what in you denial. To do. I'm not gonna knock that. But every time she calls my phone, I answer. I don't give a what I say. When she calls that phone, Girl. I answer. When she needs something, I still send her money. And we still video chat and do what we do as mother and daughter. As far as in trying to mend the relationship like it used to be, it would never be that. What Sorry. do you want to say to It's just mom? not going to be that. I don't got nothing to say to her. She a fool. So She's a hot mess. Because at the end of the day, at the, at the end of the day, it is what it is. at the end of the day, all I really care about in the, in the, in the main thing I've been telling you, Shakela, is to do better for your younger, for your younger children. And that's all I really care about. And their I'm, babies, I'm do that their regardless. babies, you treated both me and I'm my older siblings regardless. wrong, but you're not. I'm going to do that regardless. Do. I, I don't need validation from you. Or I somebody hope you else to tell me how to raise word. my children. I hope you that's treat them right. You, you don't, you don't put these men over your, your face. face. If you move look back at you. your face, you're look at your face, face your ass, I, and he's still at your house I, though. He's but you're not. He's not. But he's running but you're here to come here. Okay. Why don't you care? Yeah. Okay. And with that, I have to say, get the hell off. You can get the hell off my stage. Shakela, she's certainly not going to win Mother of the Year. Mm -mm. Um, she made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Whether she knew, she didn't know, you know, she passed for not knowing. But I think there's a lot of things, like you said, the guy's beating her. He, I'm sure she was aware that, you know, he was using, you know, force on you kids. Um, right there should have been a warning sign. She should have got out of that. Uh, I do think that this is a, a pattern that we see in a lot of relationships where women pick men over their own children. Uh, but I'm very glad, Alika, that you're in her life, that you can guide her. And I'm really proud of you, Thank again, you. for saying, hey, I'm not gonna end up like everybody else and not succeeding. I'm gonna, uh, even though I went through something very horrible, I'm gonna make something of my life and, I, and I'm very proud of you for that. We'd like to have you. Very nice to have you. We'd love to have you. We can't wait for that graduation. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.